Hey guys, welcome to a new video and it is one I have not done in a very, very, very long while. Last week I may have brought quite a few DVDs. There's a shop in Norwich called That's Entertainment Shop and it is closing down. So I went in there to grab some DVDs and yeah, I brought quite a lot. And then there's some others I brought from HMV and then there's some others I brought a couple of weeks ago that I actually remember that I brought. And yeah, so I thought I might start doing these videos again and that is a DVD haul. So I can show you what movies I've brought recently, what TV shows I've brought recently or but yeah, so let's go on with the video. Okay, so the first four I'm going to show you is the new Blu-rays that I've brought. I have seen three of them out of the four. So the first one is Tom Hanks' The Green Mile. If you have not seen this movie, I recommend it deeply. This is such an amazing film, so emotional, and I'm actually reading the book at the moment. And it's just such a good film. The actors in this are so good as well. You do feel sympathy for one of the characters. But basically, the plot line for this is... John Coffey is in cell block E, which is Tom Hanks, he looks after it, and it's basically about electrocution. So when they used to electrocute prisoners, so sentenced to death. So this is kind of like showing you what could possibly happen and all that. And basically John Coffey is one of the characters that you actually feel so much sympathy for. And basically, yeah, The Green Mile is definitely one I recommend you need to watch. The next one is, you can watch it, but I don't know if you'll enjoy it. I don't know how many people enjoy this movie. I thought it was okay. It could have been a bit better. I didn't really understand some of it, but there you go. And that is Justice League. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this film. I'm kind of like 50-50 on it. Uh, the next one is The Disaster Artist. This is got Jane Franco in it, Dave Franco and Seth Rogen. The reason I brought this is because I love these three. And yeah, I can't remember what this is about. I know this is supposed to be about The Room. Yeah, based on the making of The Room. I had to read it off the back, I couldn't remember. But I got this because I thought I liked those three. And the last one, I've actually... Oh, meh. I've watched this one. I haven't. I have watched this one. Sorry, that one I haven't watched. Disaster Artist. This one was actually pretty good. I'm actually starting to like these films a lot more than I thought I would. And that is Star Wars: The Last Jedi. This is actually pretty good, and I love how they rounded it off. And yeah, I'm loving the Star Wars series at the moment. I still prefer the original. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, but I'm starting to head that way like I know the characters off by heart and yeah the fact that they brought back a couple of the original actors is amazing and yeah I do recommend watching this film if you like Star Wars uh, the next three I have in my pile one is a TV show so I'll show you that first and that is Riverdale the first season I love Riverdale like I am a huge fan of Riverdale if you have not watched it, I recommend you do. It is currently on Netflix and it's on season two at the moment. Uh, next two I haven't watched yet, but I got. And one of them is Happy Death Day and Home Again. I got Happy Death Day because this looked quite good on the trailer. And it's basically someone gets killed and then they have to live that day over and over again. And I think it's to find out who the killer is, I think. I've only watched the trailer a couple of times. And then Home Again. I actually can't remember what this is supposed to be about. Out. I'll have to watch the trailer and find out. <laughs> so a quick little overview of the last few I've got. So the first two I'm going to show you are another TV series and that is Scrubs. So I've got the first one and I've got the second one. There we go, second one. I keep meaning to watch Scrubs. I know it's on Amazon Prime at the moment but I do like having TV shows on DVD just in case they come off of stuff like that. And they were on sale so... I need to get the rest of the Scrubs series because I used to love Scrubs when I was on the telly. Uh, the next film I have on here in this pile, I have the second one because it's got Jim Carrey as a cameo in it, but I never got the first one. And I have seen the first one, I've seen both, and that is Will Ferrell's Anchorman. Love Anchorman, it is so funny. Yeah, it is definitely funny and one I recommend. 
I love Steve Carroll's character though. It's just, he's so stupid but so funny at the same time. Next one is a TV series which I have been wanting to watch for a while. And that is the first season of New Girl. I've seen a couple of like snippets on TV so I was like, this looks alright, I might watch it. So hopefully when I start watching this, I might start watching this tonight. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> hopefully this is good. Uh, the next two I've seen and then the bottom one I haven't. So I've been wanting to get this film for a while now and that is Eddie Murphy's Daddy Daycare. This film is hilarious if you love Eddie Murphy, if you love kids being like all fun and energetic. But yeah, this is definitely one I recommend. Do not watch Daddy Day Camp though because Daddy Day Camp is not as good as Daddy Daycare. Plus it doesn't have Eddie Murphy in it. Eddie Murphy just makes all the movies and if there's a sequel to one of his movies, don't watch it because he might not be in it. Uh, the next one I'd only just watched recently. Don't know why I've only just watched it recently because it is such such a good film. It's so funny, and it got recommended to me, and that is Cool Runnings. If you have not seen this movie, watch it. It is funny. It's hilarious, and yeah, there's some one-liners in there that are quite funny. And it's like feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. It's bobsled time. It's so funny. And this one I haven't seen, but I watched Keith and Paddy do. The parody to this on their recent TV program where they recreate films, and that is Top Gun. Yes, I know I have not seen one of the classics. I am trying to get through all the classics as I possibly can. I've got quite a few I have not watched, but yeah, I thought you know what? It was in two for ten. I've wanted to see Top Gun ever since I watched Keith and Paddy do the parody, and yes, yeah, so hopefully this will be good. I'll, there's a lot of good things about it. So uh, the next one, two, three, four. There's a couple things in here, so I didn't buy that one. Don't want to buy it. Okay, so the next one I have seen, and it's very funny. It's got Cameron Diaz in it. Bit of a weird film if you like weird films, but it's quite funny at the same time. And that is the sweetest thing. I love Cameron Diaz in this. She's quite funny, and the plot line is <laughs> hilarious, and what they go through is hilarious. I definitely recommend this if you want a girly night in, or if you want to watch something funny. Uh, the next one is, I've been watching Your Face or Mine quite recently, like I've caught up now completely so I'm up to season 3 where they're on. So I've started to like Jimmy Carr a lot more now. I didn't like him at first for some reason, like I didn't quite, like I'm more of a Lee Evans person. But because I've started to like Jimmy Carr I thought I'd watch one of his things which is called Being Funny. Hopefully this is good, I haven't watched this yet. So quite a lot of these I've brought and I haven't watched. Uh, the next one is my last TV series, and I watched this series on the telly when it was on, like a few episodes when it used to air on the mornings. So I thought, why not get it and see what it's like, because I've never watched it from beginning to end. And that is the first season of Smallville. So Smallville is based on Superman, and basically him growing up through high school and dealing with his powers and everything so I like superheroes programs such as Flash and the Arrows so I thought why not give Smallville a try. Uh, the next one I have is a very weird film which I don't know if many people know about it but I do love this film it's very weird I think that's why I love it and that is called Repo the Genetic Opera. With hey guys so the camera angle might have changed and everything might have changed because my camera died right near the end. <laughs> I should have made sure my camera was charged in the first place. I think I've learned from that now. <laughs> so yeah, I do apologise if the camera angle has changed or if anything else has changed like the lighting or anything like that. I did try to get it back to where it was. So yeah, let's just finish the video. I've actually only got one more set of DVDs to show you. And I have the first two not on Blu-ray. And then I thought, well, because the third one's out, and it's the final one, I believe. I don't think they're going to do any more. May as well upgrade them all to Blu-ray. And my mum, she loves Pitch Perfect, so she's going to have the first two that I've got originally. And that is Pitch Perfect. So I love the first Pitch Perfect, and like the second one, like the first one will still always be my favourite. I wanted to see the third one in the cinema, but I never got a chance to, because me and my friends were always busy. And the one person I always go with, so that's my friend Curtis, we go to like musicals, tops, stuff like this. And 
yeah, we planned to go and then we didn't because stuff came up and then, yeah. Finally ever got to watch it last night and I loved it. Bit of a weird beginning, kind of like, well, how come they're there? But that's explained like near the very end of the movie, which is obviously the way it's supposed to be. But it was just a weird beginning, especially for those films. I wasn't used to seeing something like that. But it made a nice change, especially since it was going to be the last one, I think. I don't think they could do any more with this, really. Especially how with the third one, the way it was. I'm not. I'm one of those people that doesn't give spoilers for movies. I, I hate when people spoil me for movies, so I wouldn't do the same on this one, unless I put spoiler alert at the beginning of the video, but it's very rare very very rarely that I spoil the film but yeah so I did like the Pitch Perfect franchise I think they should stop at number three because the way that the credits went it was like okay this definitely feels like it's wrapped up there's no more now but like with the Nightmare on Elm Street they could keep going and you never know it could just go on and on they'll probably find something different to do but say I like Pitch Perfect as a trilogy I don't see there being a number four but no my luck probably will be but yeah so that is my recent DVD haul in fact this is actually my first one of the year I might try and do a monthly one like I'm gonna call this April DVD haul because these are all DVDs I brought in April so you'll get a movies watched and a DVD haul because I tend to get quite a lot of movies Especially tomorrow, which is Monday, the 30th of April, because that's when the new Jumanji film comes out on DVD. I am so excited for that. The film in the cinema was hilarious, so I cannot wait to watch that again. And, yeah, so, don't know if you've got any of these, or if there's any you want to watch, or if there's any you can suggest me buying. Probably shouldn't buy any more, because I've got tons, tons, and tons. <laughs> but... Yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I notice I do quite a lot of hand gestures. I do apologise. I'm hoping that will stop. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.